It's Ralston Live. This would have a special resonance for you. We're going to talk about immigration in a moment. But your father, I believe, fled from Cuba under, under the Castro regime. Uh, and so why doesn't that argument that Mr. Carmona is making in there have resonance with you? It doesn't have resonance with me because our job is to make sure that they don't develop any nuclear weapons. This doesn't do that, you don't think? I don't think that this agreement does. I think that we, as leaders, could have gotten a much better agreement. You know, there were times when Ronald Reagan walked away from the table and people criticized him for doing it. But what happened in 1991? The USSR, it fell. And you know, those were opportunities that we missed with Cuba because when the USSR fell, there was an opportunity to reach out to Cuba in a different way, and we lacked the leadership to do it back. You don't then. think we should have reached out now? No, obviously you have special uh, uh, feelings about Cuba, right? I do. Uh, and, and so you don't think the president should have reached out now and done what he has done with Cuba? I think that you can reach out, absolutely, but are we asking for something in return? Are we asking them to stop having uh, human uh, uh, problems with uh, their, how can I put it, uh, are we asking them to release their political prisoners? Are we asking them to not violate people's rights? Are we asking Cuba to be a more representative government? And we're not asking these things. You know, if I was going to ask for anything personally, well, of course, my family lost everything. Everything became the property of the government. I certainly don't want to see that, not only in Cuba, but I don't want to see it anywhere else. Let's talk about the other uh, foreign policy crisis of, of sorts that's going on right now.